Hey guys, my name is Johnny from Lulu's and we're all about creating unique ear styling that helps you stay trendy while expressing your personal style. In today's video, we're gonna be styling an ear where I'm gonna take you on the journey with me and I'm gonna show you exactly how I style this ear from blank canvas to like a fully styled ear. If you're looking at this ear, it looks like an ear that probably belongs somewhere in Las Vegas. So we're gonna give it like a Las Vegas themed ear. So every single day at 12 o'clock, we hold a live stream on all our social media platforms where we pretty much display a brand new styled ear every single day. And this ear has probably been something you've seen already and you're just coming back here just to see exactly how we put it all together. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna be showing you guys. All right, so I have my blank ear here and I have all my jewelry here displayed out that I wanna use for this piece. And um, I'm pretty much gonna start with the center piece because I feel like I'm gonna work around that piece of jewelry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pierce the ear from the bottom. Clearly the way I'm piercing this date now is not exactly how I pierce the date at all. There's obviously additional tools and stuff to help me pierce it. This is just an easy way for me to poke the ear and put the jewelry in. So do not judge me on how I'm doing this. This is purely just to poke the ear and get the jewelry in. That's it. I don't pierce people like this. It's a very savage way to pierce somebody. I would think it's hurting me just watching this. All right, so this piece right here is a titanium uh, Swarovski clicker. This is used for the date and it could also be used for the septum. It's very blingy. I think it's definitely one of my favorite clickers we have. It just, it's a classic piece. Like you can't get any more classic than that. It literally fits anything, any style. And it's so lightweight. That's a good thing about titanium that people don't realize compared to like, just metal in general, like titanium is so lightweight. It makes it very, very easy to like wear and you don't really feel like the additional weight. And it's probably the safest metal you can use because it's very, very durable. You're able to swim with it. You're able to get out in the sun, wear like makeup, lotion, whatever. None of that's gonna cause it to change color or like wear down or anything like that. That's the beauty of titanium. It's one of those extremely durable pieces of jewelry. And you'll notice that whenever I'm putting it together with the rest of these. So we have our clicker in place. See how it fills up the ear like really nicely? Just, it's perfect. It's very simple, very classical. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna work with another center part of the ear. I'm gonna be working with the flat area, this area here. I'm gonna put the flower in the middle and I'm gonna try to find the perfect spot for it because I want the, f the forward helixes and the regular helixes to kind of feel like the midpoint. So I see how I pretty much put it right there. There's a ridge on the ear and you kind of want to find the flattest place to put the flower because if your ear is very like curved and you put a flower and there's empty space in the bottom and then you can knock it out and then you don't want that. So next we'll go ahead and insert our forward helix pieces. I'm going to be using the tiniest two millimeter bezel gems. Forward helix, whenever you're uh, piercing it, you just gotta remember that it's a very thin, very delicate area. So you can't be using like large pieces of jewelry there because it just, it could get caught, it could get irritated. So there you go, two tiny symbol studs, adds a little bit of flair. So next up on the menu, we're doing a double helix with gemmed hinge rings. Probably a really common and also a very popular style is having two rings in your helix. And whenever you put like a beautiful gemmed hinge ring in there, especially the ones like ours, they're so thin, the gems are so tiny. It's just, it's classic, just like the, the Daith jewelry. Very simple, but it does the job. It looks very classy, looks very pretty, and it's also very shiny. So if you're into the bling, this is probably the right one for you. Here we go, we're gonna snap this into place. We want it to hug the ear very nicely. It just looks better whenever the jewelry's hugging the ear. There are styles where you can go with like a bigger look, but you gotta be careful because if it's too big and it gets snagged on or whatever, it becomes a problem too. Only unless if it's like an event where you definitely want your jewelry to look very like out there and not really care about like if it's safe or not or wh whatever, then you can sacrifice it for style. And next we're gonna work our way down. Uh, we're gonna put two three millimeter crystal prongs in the mid part of the ear. We're gonna double it up just like the top part of the helix because since I feel like there's a theme happening, I'm doing two in front, two up here, and I'm gonna also do two down there. So there it is. Just another two paired together just to match this one. And next I'm gonna do the very bottom earlobe. We're using this ear jacket. So it's pretty much a simple crystal stud 
and it has like a, this jacket that hangs off it with another crystal on the bottom. Also has little, little tiny gems on the, on the bottom. It looks really, really nice. Very simple design, but it definitely takes a very boring stud. And my last two pieces of jewelry, we're gonna go with like the double bar. We're going with a twin theme here. We're gonna put two bars next to each other on a slight bit of an angle. Almost looking like there's a hoop hug in here, but it's actually not, it's two bars. But it plays on like the double theme, so. We're gonna put these guys in. These are regular earrings with regular backings. And we have our final ear, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. We call this the Las Vegas theme. So if you wanna see me style an ear with crystals and opals and silver color, click the video right up here.